This is a reading of Hamlet, Act One, Scene Three. It's a room in Polonius's house when Laertes is about to depart back to school in France, and he's talking to his sister Ophelia. My necessaries are embarked. Farewell. And sister, as the winds give benefit and convoy as assistant, do not sleep, but let me hear from you. Do you doubt that? For Hamlet and the trifling of his favor, hold it a fashion and a toy in blood, a, a violet in the youth of primy nature, forward not permanent, sweet not lasting, the perfume and, and suppliance of a minute no more. No more but so? Think it no more, for nature crescent does not grow alone in fuse and bulks, but as this temple waxes, the inward service of the mind and soul grows wide withal. And perhaps he loves you now. And now no soil nor coddle doth to be smirched the virtue of his will. But you must fear his greatness weighed. His will is not his own, for he himself is subject to his birth. He may not, as unvalued persons do, carve for himself. For on his choice depends the safety and health of this whole state. And therefore must his choice be circumscribed unto the voice and yielding of that body whereof he is the head. Then if he says he loves you, it fits your wisdom so far to believe it as he in his particular act and place may give his saying deed, which is no further than the main voice of Denmark goes withal. Then weigh what loss your honor may sustain, if with too credent ear you list his songs, or lose your heart, or your chaste treasure open to his unmastered importunity. Fear it, Ophelia, fear it, my dear sister, and keep you in the rear of your affection, out of the shot and danger of desire. The chariest maid is prodigal enough if she unmask her beauty to the moon. Virtue itself scapes not calumnious strokes. The canker galls the infants of spring too oft before their buttons be disclosed. And in the morn and liquid dew of youth, contagion blasphemies are most imminent. Be wary then, best safety lies in fear. Youth to itself rebels though none else near. I shall the effect of this good lesson keep as watchman to my heart. But my good brother, do not as some ungracious pastors do. Show me the steep and thorny way to heaven, while, like a puffed and reckless libertine, himself the primrose path of dalliance treads and wrecks not his own reed. Oh, fear me not. I stay too long, but here my father comes. A double blessing is a double grace. Occasion smiles upon a second leave. Yet here, Laertes, aboard, aboard for shame. The wind sits on the shoulder of your sail, and you are stayed for. There, my blessing with thee. And with these few precepts in thy memory, see thou character. <clears throat> Give thy thoughts no tongue, nor any unproportioned thought his act. Be thou familiar but by no means vulgar. Those friends thou hast and their adoption tried, grapple them to thy soul with hoops of steel. But do not dole thy palm with entertainment of each new-hatched, unfledged comrade. Be, beware of entrance to a quarrel, but being in, bear it that the opposed may beware of thee. Give every man thy ear, but few thy voice. Take each man's censure, but reserve thy judgment. Costly thy habit as thy purse can buy, but not expressed in fancy, rich, not gaudy. For the apparel oft proclaims the man, and they in France of the best rank and station are of a most select and generous chief in that. Neither a borrower or a lender be, for loan oft loses both itself and friend, and borrowing duels the edge of husbandry. Uh, this above all, to thine own self be true, and it must follow as the day, the night. Thou canst not then be false to any man. Farewell.
My blessing season this in thee. Most humbly I do take my leave, my lord. The time invites you. Go, your servants tend. Farewell, Ophelia, and remember well what I have said to you. Tis in my memory locked, and you yourself shall keep the key of it. Farewell. Exit Laertes. What is it, Ophelia? He hath said to you. So please you something touching the Lord Hamlet. Mary, well but thought. Tis told me he hath very oft of late given private time to you, and you yourself have of your audience been most free and bounteous. If it be so, as so tis put on me, and that in way of caution I must tell you, you do not understand yourself so clearly as it behooves my daughter and your honor. What is between you? Give me up the truth. He hath my lord of late made many tenders of his affection to me. Affection, poo! You speak like a green girl unsifted in such perilous circumstance. Do you believe his tenders, as you call them? I do not know, my lord, what I should think. Mary, I'll teach you. Think yourself a baby, that you have taken these tenders for true pay, which are not sterling. Tender yourself more dearly, or, not to crack the wind of the poor phrase, running it thus, you'll tender me a fool. My lord, he hath importunely with love in an honorable fashion. Yeah, fashion you may call it, go to, go to. And hath given countenance to a speech, my lord, with almost all the holy vows of heaven. Ay, springs to catch woodcocks. I do know when the blood burns, how prodigal the soul lends the tongue vows. These blazes, daughter, giving more light than heat, extinct in both, even in their promise, as it is a, a making you must not take for fire. From this time, be somewhat scanter of your maiden presence. Set your entreatments at a, a higher rate than a command to parley. For, for Lord Hamlet believes so much in him that he is young, and with a larger tether may he walk than may be given you. In few Ophelia, do not believe his vows, for they are brokers, not of that dye which their investments show, but mere implorators of unholy suits, breathing like sanctified and pious bods, the better to beguile. This is for all. I would not, in plain terms, from this time forth, have you so slander any moment leisure as to give words or talk with the Lord Hamlet. Look to it, I charge you, come your ways. I shall obey, my lord. Exit. End of scene. For watching, uh, if you could subscribe to the channel, that would be so amazing. This is the rest of the Hamlet playlist that we currently have. And plus, here's some other perhaps interesting or even amusing uh, other playlists we'd love for you to check out. Until next time, take care.